What is going on ladies and gentlemen? This is Dan Wimmer from Zen Dude Fitness and today we are doing a straight 10 minute jump rope challenge. First of all guys, I wanna send a shout out to our boy Wolfie Dragon. He's one of our Zen dudes in our dojo and he had this idea to just see how long people could jump rope for. So my idea for doing the jump rope was why don't we start off with a 10 minute challenge, nothing fancy, regular bounce, running in place, boxer skip, whatever you want. What I want you guys to do is just go for 10 straight minutes consecutively. Also, to my beginners out there, if you can't go 10 straight minutes, that is totally fine. Don't worry about mess ups and don't worry if you can only get three to four minutes. That's not what I want you guys to focus on. I want you to focus on building your endurance and just seeing how long you can jump rope consecutively for. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up below and subscribe if you guys want to just learn how to have fun, jump rope, get super lean, and have an epic life. We're doing this with the agility rope from Cross Rope. This is their basic rope. We also have this linked up below. It's the one you see in most of our videos. Um, it's the best one that we have found so far on the market. They have other weighted ropes and speed ropes, but for this workout, we're going agility rope, quarter pound weight. All right, dudes and dudettes, let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get Getting into it here. Now we got 10 straight minutes of jumping rope. So what I want you guys to do is go at a moderate pace. Don't burn yourself out. Trust me, you do not want to burn yourself out while doing this challenge uh, because then you're gonna be super tired and you're not gonna be able to go for 10 minutes. So pace yourself, guys. Notice the first thing here, as I always discuss in all the videos, look at my form, my elbows are in, uh, my hands are jutting out to the sides of my hips, my wrists are controlling everything, um, and I'm just maintaining a nice, even bounce as we go along here. Um, this, guys, is just about increasing your endurance and uh, starting to get used to more of that consistent impact on your feet. Um, at first, I wouldn't recommend this to people who are just starting out just because you probably will experience shin splints, but for those who want to challenge themselves and have been jumping rope for a little bit, I think this is a great uh, workout to do. And look at that guys, we're already, in, we're already on minute number two. This is easy, this is super easy. Okay, not gonna lie, it's not that easy. I was, as you'll see here by the end, I was so dead. Like I was, what I do is I go in between, like as, a, as you see here, I'm doing like pretty slow regular bounce. And then I'll switch it up and speed it up and do faster boxer skip. And that was just to keep me like just going and also like not getting bored. So I would count to like 30 seconds and then switch it up and in between each one and I found that that actually helped out the most do the thing ladies and gentlemen do the thing we're almost done with minute number two here um, also guys if you can't do these that's fine you can just do like three minutes or four minutes and if you need to rest do that um, I encourage you obviously to see if you can the challenge is to be able to try and go for an entire 10 minutes straight um, but if you can't do that, that's also fine, guys. The, the goal here is just to build your endurance overall. Um, shout out again to my man Wolfie Dragon in our Facebook dojo. If you have not checked out the dojo, uh, click the link below. The dojo is basically for anyone who wants to learn exactly how to get lean and shredded in the easiest way possible. We teach you how to eat, we give you recipes, we give you workouts, we give you literally daily accountability from Brandon and I. So um, just to be straight up, guys, there's a huge value in the dojo, and not just from us, but from the people who are actually in it, like the guy who recommended uh, doing this work out there's some amazing people there so if you're looking for more accountability um, and a way to get lean that's fun and get shredded do it it's click the link below check out more information on that but for the meantime keep jumping rope baby keep jumping rope you know what's messed up guys check out my shirt you know I had this great LA shirt and then I put it in the wash and uh, yeah it came out and the bleach totally ruined it now it looks all retro or like I've been just laying in uh, dirt all day, like Dimatex from a baseball field. That's what it looks like. That's cool though. I'm not mad about it. I'll just have to get another one, even though it's my favorite shirt. Okay guys, I'm just, I'm trying to make you laugh here because 
Honestly, jumping rope for 10 minutes straight is not easy. Your shoulders are probably starting to burn. Um, but guys, who cares? The way that I do this and the way I found most helpful was I found two songs. One was four minutes and one was six minutes. I don't have it. I couldn't play the songs I was listening to because of copyright reasons and YouTube is really annoying about that. But I was listening to Kendrick Lamar's Money Trees and I was listening to Earl Sweatshirt's Grief. Um, and the reason I say that guys is because if you just concentrate on, it's much easier for me to listen to a song and be like, all right, all I have to do is just jump rope for the duration of these um, two to three songs instead of thinking, oh man, I'm on minute five. Oh man, now I'm on minute six and there's 10 of these. I find it easier just to jump rope to music. Um, and it helps just like make the time pass by. Also guys, what I wanna talk about too is just push yourself. Like yeah, this is hard, okay? Like get, like let it go. This is really difficult, my arms are really tired, but guess what, you have five minutes left of this and then maybe you do this one more time and that's all the exercise you have to do for the day. I think people way over exaggerate the difficulty or like, oh, you know, I'm feeling, it's really hard or I'm, you know, it's feeling real, my muscles are burning. Whatever, who cares? Just take a deep breath and forget that your muscles are burning and just keep going. I cannot stress to you guys enough how much the the body really only uses 40% of what it's capable of. And when I say that, what I mean is, most of the times when people are dead, quote unquote, dead tired and they're exhausted and they wanna give up, they've only used maybe, and I'm talking maybe 40% of what they're capable of, when in reality, they could keep going way past that point. You just have to fight through a little bit of that pain. And guys, that pain is where you break through and make real changes in your body. So don't avoid that pain. Go into that pain. Feel good with that pain. Um, and also guys, don't be soft. Like, I'm just gonna be straight up with you. I think there's so many people when they're trying to lose weight and get fit, who simply just don't want it enough or they're just too soft. And you know, I'm always gonna be the provider of, of tough love for you guys. And and I just, I think a lot of people are soft. Like look, if you wanna change your body, then do these workouts and do them as best as you can. And if you're starting to get a little tired, who cares, push through it. Like not everything's gonna be super easy in life. And I understand that, um, you know, getting fit is no exception. That's It's a difficult thing that takes a lot of perseverance. It takes a good mindset. It takes positivity. And it just takes doing the thing, guys. There is no magic pill here that you can take that's gonna get you there faster. You need to suck it up and put the work in. And just like that, my motivational rant is over and we're already on we're already on minute seven guys so we're almost done with this uh this first circuit um again if you just want to do this one time for beginners like i totally understand this is not easy and i was really spent after this just to let you guys know as well what i did was a i did this circuit one time and then later in the afternoon i did three more circuits of 30 seconds on 10 seconds off like you'll see in a lot of our workouts um, so do that, you know, split it up a little bit. I understand like it might be kind of tough on the legs to do this uh, two or three times total, but again, push yourself, do what you are capable of. Almost coming up here on minute eight, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I'm getting, you can, well, you can't see this, but I'm getting pretty fatigued. I'm getting to the point where I'm like, all right, this is, uh, this is a lot of jumping rope at one time. I also don't ever jump rope for 10 minutes straight, like ever. So a lot of people ask us, Dan, how long can you jump rope? To be honest with you, I could probably jump rope. Like I'm, I, I, I do feel like I do a good job of fighting through this pain. I'm confident that I could easily jump 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes at this pace. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not like super, it's not a walk in the park, that's for sure. Um, you can't see this here also, but I really get into a headspace where like I just feel the pain and I just picture myself like, guys, this is another strategy that I think is amazing. I just transport myself to a different place. So like literally as I'm doing this jump rope workout, I'm sitting on a beach with my shirt off and my bathing suit, meditating and letting the breeze blow over me. Like I'm not even thinking about the impact that this is having on my body because I've practiced for a while now, just putting myself in an entirely different space so that I can focus on just continuing to go without focusing on the fact that I'm out of breath, that my shoulders hurt, that my legs hurt, and that my feet hurt a little bit. So 
Remember that guys, the mind is a very powerful thing. If you tell yourself, if you tell your body uh, to just ignore some of that muscle, like acid, the lactic acid buildup, which is just burning, it's not unhealthy to feel that, it's actually a good thing. If you can just tell your mind to ignore that, then you can just keep skipping. And I think that's one of the most powerful things about exercise is that the mind really controls everything. It's not about starting out super fit. Remember that. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, we are still doing the thing. I did, I should mention, I messed up one time and you'll see it here at the end. I'm so bummed, man. I had like 20 seconds left. Here's what happens when you don't concentrate. I, I was getting lazy, I was getting tired, and instead of just bucking up and saying, no Dan, spin the rope faster, stay more concentrated, I messed up at the very end and I was going slow, and you'll see it here in a sec, but point is I didn't need to do that. I could have easily completed this workout with zero mess ups, and instead I let my mental state get the best of me by letting that one mess up slip in there at the end. I got a little sloppy, but it's all good because next time when I do a 15 minute jump rope challenge or a 20 minute jump rope challenge, um, obviously I'm going to be sure to not mess up and to stay as on point as I can. Having said that, if you guys mess up, not a big deal, not a big deal. Like it's not easy to jump rope for 10 straight minutes without messing up. So don't feel bad about that guys. Uh, also comment below, give us your suggestions. I think this is one of the most fun workouts that I've done just because it was Literally just feedback from the community, uh, from someone who started it in our dojo, and it's become something much bigger. There's my mess up. Jeez, come on, Dan. Have a great one, ladies and gentlemen. See you on the next workout.